Hey everyone, welcome to the Talus Principle. This is a new game for me. I've never played it before and actually it's different from what I thought it would be just looking at the screenshots uh, on Steam. For some reason I had a different impression of what this would be. So <laughs> I don't know. Apparently I have no idea what I'm getting into. Let's let's see what happens. Behold, child, <laughs> you <scary>. are risen <laughs> from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Okay. So this is going to be about religion. Elohim is um, Hebrew for, it's like a god, right? That's the name of God or a name of God or something. I don't know. This is pretty. It's like some more modern structure outside there though. Initiating child program logic check. Uh, so we're a robot, apparently. This is gonna have to do with philosophy of robotics, isn't it? <laughs> the, the three rules of robotics. You know, I did actually read that Isaac Asimov book, I, I Robot, right? The one they named the movie after. I read that like maybe 10 years ago. It's been a while, so I don't remember much about it. But it was really interesting. The book was actually super interesting. Take Jammer. Can I drop this anywhere? Looks like. Um, what is this gonna jam? But I have to leave it here, probably. I'm trying to take it with me. <laughs> Not possible. Okay. Uh oh. Well, that's this isn't a jammed portal. I can go through the purple ones. Child program basic calibration successful. So it's trying to see if I'm smart enough to do basic tasks. <laughs> I got news for you. I don't know how confident I am in that. Uh, today I actually. Ugh. Fuck. What is that? I actually downloaded and opened uh, Steven's Sausage Roll, and I couldn't figure out a damn thing. And after like 45 minutes, I quit in frustration. So I'm not feeling super confident about myself right now. <laughs> so this is gonna be really fun. No, I'm gonna jam you. I'm gonna jam that bitch. It messes with your controls. Oh, so we can do this from far away. Dope. Uh -huh. I thought I had to get up close. So when I got up close to that thing, um, yeah, my controls got all sorts of wonky.
predictive capacity, okay. Yeah, that game was, um, that game was ridiculous. Oh. Oh shit, um. I, yeah, so I'm probably not gonna record that one and put it up because it was so... It would be boring anyway, I feel like. I don't know where I am, but there is something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. Are these notes that people have left or uh, is that like in-game stuff? Having a little issue with my mouse there. It's because there's shit under my mouse pad. <laughs> All across this land, I have created trials for you Should to overcome. Sigils. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Am I serving or am I attaining eternal life? Or is it both? I find myself in a world of impossible architecture and inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works and I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other lest I fall through the floor. <laughs> Faith, huh? Ah, fuck it. What? Hmm, what good does it do me to do that? Ooh, we need this thing. Yeah, but there's another one back there. Can't get both. That guy blocks the entire path. What if we did this? What if we took this? Um, oh shit. Can I get this guy from here? jam through the bars? Hmm. Come on. Okay. Alright. We can't jam through the bars. Can't jam! Yeah. Frick. Um. Can we take these through the purple portals? No. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do now. Let me think. Um, I need to... I need to make it... Okay, I have a plan, but I don't know how it can work. Okay. 
that answers that question. So I can take this out. I wasn't sure if I could get two jammers to work on the same uh, door at the same time. Great. Got it. <laughs> you will not need this sigil to open the gate to my temple, but it may serve you in times to come. Okay. This is mirrored from the one that I have right there. I want the green ones too? I think I just gotta pick. Just gotta pick a place to go. There's a door here. Okay. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. Okay. So the green ones I need to get, the yellow ones are optional. Uh, I feel like I'm missing one of the yellow ones. Um, like, on these signs. here yet. We gotta do these ones first. You can't see me. Uh, a switch out of reach, huh? should be powered down um, even without this.
they're not kidding about being uh, outnumbered. Can I bring some of these with- no, you can't bring these through the purple portals. So we've only got one. Man, I don't know what to do with this then. Cause like, I mean maybe you wouldn't need to disable this one if you could like quickly run in there and back, but you still have these two obstacles to overcome and only one jamming device. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, let's come back to this one. get past this one over here. Just can't. Oh, oh, I see. I need to get in here and... Just disable this. This is another case of uh, I've got I've got too many things that I need to disable, and only one thing that can do the job. Oh, stop. I'm too far away, you can't do anything to me. Yeah, like I, I you can't get past this thing. Okay, that beeping started to sound like it was actually gonna do something. What is going in there? What is going in there for to do for me? Oh shit! Okay, I can trap these things. Got it. That helps with that other one. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. Now I'm gonna go back and do this one, since I think I know how. My well, child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. I want to. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. This trait will serve you well in times to come.
of a million. MLA Milton Library Assistant, unresponsible, un, unresponsive. <laughs> the MLA is unresponsive though. Figure it out. What? From Nadia, I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that was that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young. And you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. Gee, what does that mean? <laughs> Interesting. Figure it out. The way I see it, oh, it's from Dad. The way I see it, the world doesn't come to with a manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young, you've got loads of time to figure it all out. And then we have Athena6.txt. Chapter 6, Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides. So-and-so did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into this strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber, strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, but all faltered in the final step. For you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles of... <laughs> what? <laughs> of somewhere. Of something. Gazing upon the stars and wept. What is missing there? If these are codes, I'm not going to be able to break them. <laughs> I, I really like doing simple, like, cryptograms, really simple ones, but, um, yeah, no, not, nothing too complicated. I, I, I don't really know that much about, like, decryption and, and, and all that fun stuff. Alright, what will it say if we try to run the MLA? Understand what I'm saying. Understand is a strong way to put it, but yes. Ooh. <laughs> Are you able to take offense, you pointless contraption? What was the first what was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? Basic subject verb object syntax. Are you able to take offense? Not insult me. Describe your functions. 
Milton Library Assistant is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. What the hell is going on here? How long has this system been running? <laughs> nine, 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 nine years. How old are the library archives? Library resource publishing dates range from 1st July 1995 to 27th June 203F. <laughs> what? What are these terminals? Terminals provide access to the library resource. Provide access to the library ar resource archive. All right, what's the current status of the library archive? There are 47 million resources in archive, taking up a shitload of disk space. That is approximately, yeah, okay. The entire internet in 2003. <laughs> No, the majority of library resources are corrupted or invalid. That's quite a lot. I don't, is that really a majority? Though, 10 gigs? Or is that... that that's like 10.6... It's 10.7 gigs, right? Out of 5.4 petabytes? I, I don't know how much a petabyte is. What caused the data corruption? Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. Inconsistencies? Okay, forget the library. Can you respond to queries on the, uh, on the outside world? Knowledge is limited. You can ask, who is Elohim? Elohim is the noun for god or gods in modern and ancient Hebrew. Okay, that answers that. What am I? I am logged in with a guest account. <laughs> Where am I? You are currently in a support session with the MLA Human Language Interface module. Your library archive session may be resumed at any time. Okay. That's interesting. Um, well, we read all these and this, and we checked help. Was there anything else? That's everything. Oh. You have a journal to access. Cool. Cool. Okay. That sure was interesting. What a start. Go get more shapes. Parking a sleeping lion. <laughs> um, what's the order of events that needs to happen here? This will go on. Which means we have to take this and run, right? <laughs> okay, that won't work. Oh, but we The guardians can... of this land may harm you, but do not resent them. For they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. We can jam things with multiple... Yeah, um...
Okay. Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Okay, I guess let's do this. It said we can come back to these at any time. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. Aw, how sweet. See, this is what I like, you know, this- the puzzle games are maybe complicated, maybe not, but I like- I like the mysterious trappings and the kind of- sometimes it's kind of goofy, but it's- and cheesy, but I like it, I don't know. It's, it just gives that mysterious aura. Alright, let's finish this up. Trio Bombasticus. Let me guess, I need to go this way. Was that everything from here, I think? This star, what does this mean? I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna go to number two. There's, is there a star in each one of these? Is there a hidden piece in each level? Ooh, what is this? It's just boarded up. You don't have to get extra pieces to go there. It's just plain boarded up. So we've gotten all of the official pieces. All seven, uh, I can count. All seven of them. But that star... What does the star mean? There are mysteries in my garden. Hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. Okay, well, that answers that. I think there's a hidden level in each one of these. Oof, there's two stars and three. So, um, all right, let's take a look back. Let's take a look back. I, gosh, I wonder if any of these walls are like false walls or some bullshit. I'm gonna go ahead and say no. For this game, uh, you're, you should be able to logic your way through hidden things. You're not just gonna like walk through a false wall, I don't think. That, that wouldn't... That wouldn't seem to fit, from what I know so far. Now, the stars are on these big signs, but will they be on the, um, the smaller signs like these? Doubtful. Because I hadn't noticed them before. It's not going to tell you where the hidden paths are. 
Now I wonder if the hidden paths are part of one of the smaller puzzles or if they are outside of the smaller puzzle boxes. I don't think I ever went in here. There's that hole in the ground over there? I don't remember seeing that. Let me think. Um, I can jump. I don't think I can jump that high. Maybe I can. Okay, well I can't jump any higher. I can't jump high enough. Okay, how do we get in here? Oh no, this is turning into Skyrim. I don't know, it's, it does seem funny that I can jump up here. Pretty high. Okay, maybe I can jump over stuff, but like that can't be it either, right? Huh. Well, yeah, I don't know. That might that area might be something. It might be nothing. Right? It might not even be anything. It might just be a hole in the ground. I mean, how would you get out of here if you if you got in? I mean, I don't know what's in the pit. Could have something to do with that. Or this could be nothing. Maybe we're not supposed to get in here. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. We'll come back to all this. Maybe in one of the different levels, I will find one of the hidden paths and it will help me find more in the future somehow. Alright, so next time, we're gonna go do number two. Probably just go in order, why not? <laughs> <laughs>